Uh, thank you. Through the chair, um, I move that the amendment that's being circulated to you now uh, at this time to the assembly, I move that. Um, Mr. Campbell now will read the amendment into the record. Thank you. I just, I, just, I, I don't, I can't, it's not that I don't support what you're offering here. I just think as part of this document, I don't think this is the time. This is the time to bring us with more information on the 10th. This feels like a runaround of the appropriation process and the public hearing process. We, we don't have time to waste. This feels like grandstanding by the administration, and I frankly, I think it's a farce. Its proposal was already rejected. We provided an opportunity to go through a comprehensive process to really evaluate it amongst other options, and that seems to be rejected by the administration. That doesn't feel like a very good faith effort to work together. The time is ticking. And I'm frankly really upset because I'm feeling held hostage. You can't have the Sullivan back unless you approve our, our project. That's ridiculous. There are interim options. There are other ways forward. I sit in a housing push meeting every Monday. Rarely is the housing and homelessness coordinator there, if ever. So it is time for the administration to show up and truly be collaborative. I urge you to reject this and let a collaborative approach go forward. Winter's coming. And like I said, two things are going to happen in the winter, and I'm not going to own this. But everyone has told me a different story. And I've got, I, I've got members of the P3s coming in the office saying they're negotiating for the assembly. And, um, and they're, uh, they're changing their story as well. well Dr. Morris doesn't have to do it anymore. My reputation has been much maligned in the last three weeks because members of this administration have been taking my words out of context and stating that I have offered to support their project. And so I would welcome you to review this email and cross-reference it to what you have heard from your staff because I was explicitly clear. Not partially clear, not hedgy clear, but 100% clear that what we need to do is ensure that we find a way to take the people off the streets of Midtown and serve them in a positive and healthy way, and then I can get behind the project between for this administration. But then we come to this table when you have a forum and people ready to clap, and it's a different story. So I, too, share your desire to have a real negotiation.